Number nine, the diagram shows the curve. That would be this part. A parabola, y minus two, quantity squared, and the line y plus two x equals seven, which intersects at point A and B. Find the area of the shaded region. Okay, so before we find the area, we need to find our boundaries because we need to figure out where they stop or where the area is um, held in, essentially, by what bounds. So the easiest way to do this is to set our two equations equal. So I'm going to manipulate this one so that by, by subtracting 2x, so now I can go ahead and substitute 7 minus 2x in for y. And I end up with this. Um, some people might be tempted to square root this, but that doesn't help you at this point because then you still have things you can't combine. So the smartest move at this point is to FOIL or to distribute um, x minus 2 times x minus 2 to get x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then since we're looking for intersection points, I'm going to get this side equal to 0 by subtracting 7 and adding 2x. So minus 7 add 2x. So x squared minus 2x minus 3. So I'm going to go ahead and fact. I'm going to go ahead and factor this because this is easily factorable. We end up with x minus 3 because I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 3. Well, 3 is prime, so 1 has to be 1 and 3. 1's positive, 1's negative. Since that also has to add to negative 2, I know that this is what my factored form looks like. So I know that I have bounds at x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. So this is negative 1, this is 3, and just for, you know, just because I'm going to go ahead and find the y coordinates. So it's um, 7 minus 6, which is 1, so negative 1, 1. Um, Oh, sorry, it's not, it's 13. 1, 13. 7 plus 6. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let me start over. I'm clicking, I'm looking at something and not the right thing. When I plug negative 1 in, I get 7 plus 2, which is 9. It's plugging 3 in and writing that it was the coordinate of 1. When I plug 3 in, I get 7 minus 6, which is 1. Okay. All right, so we really only need the x values, but it's good to be thorough. Okay, so when we are finding the area under um, between a curve and a line, we basically are going to set up our boundaries so that um, we're using, well, you can use either the x or the y. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use the x's. So I'm going from negative 1 to 3. Um, and then I'm going to uh, take the integral of the upper, what's on the upper minus the lower, so 7 minus 2x, and this all has to be in terms of y, minus, I'm going to bracket this here, minus um, x minus 2 quantity squared dx, and I'm just going to integrate. Um, so I end up with negative 2 minus, I meant to integrate. So we're going to end up with um, uh, 7x. And then it becomes negative 2 divided by 2, which is negative x squared in this case, minus um, 1 over 3 times x minus 2 cubed from negative 1 to 3. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug 3 in. I'm kind of doing this in my head as I'm going. Minus, I'm going to plug negative 1 in, so negative 7 minus 1 minus 1 third times uh, negative 3 cubed is negative 27. Okay, so that ends up 21 minus 9 minus 1 third. 
and I should not have been sloppy. Um, this should all be negative here. Minus 7, minus negative 8. Um, and then negative 27 times negative 1 third is 9. So negative 8 minus 9 is negative 1. Okay, so 21 minus 9 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. So 12 and 2 thirds. Which, oh, did I do that right? 21, 12, 11, ooh, it's 10 and 2 thirds, sorry. 10 and 2 thirds, or uh, 32 over 3 cubic units. I didn't give us units. I don't know what it is, so cubic units. Okay, so moving on. 10, we're almost done. Yes, okay, the equation of a curve is y equals 1 sixth times quantity 2x minus 3 all raised to the third power minus 4x. We're supposed to find dy over dx. So this is just basically testing your ability to um, differentiate when you have a binomial. So we keep the 1 sixth. We multiply by the exponent. So that's this. So I'm getting that. We multiply by the derivative of the inside. In this case, it's 2. The inside stays the same, and it gets cubed, okay? And then the derivative of minus 4x is minus 4. Okay, so now I'm just going to simplify this. So dy over dx, 1 6 times 3 times 2 is 1. So we end up with 2x minus 3 cubed minus 4. Sorry, I don't know why. Why did it explain that? That's kind of strange. Um, Alright, so that's part I. Part double I says find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point where the curve intersects the y axis. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find where the curve intersects the y axis, which means that we already know that we're looking for the y intercept which means that x is 0. So I'm going to plug 0 into the original curve. Um, oops, not there. Sorry, it's pretty late at night and I feel like I'm making a lot of little mistakes that I keep catching because I'm tired. Okay. So I wrote that I was finding the y-intercept here and then I substituted it wrong initially. I'm substituting this for x. So basically, I end up with 1 6 times negative 1 cubed. Oops, not negative 1, negative 3 cubed. There we go again. Um, okay, negative 3 cubed is negative 27. So negative 27 divided by negative 6 is negative 9 halves. So that's your y. So your coordinates are 0 and negative 9 halves. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we need to find our slope at our um, x coordinate, at our point. So that happens when x is 0. So again, we end up with negative 3 cubed, which is negative 27 minus 4, which gives us negative 31. So to write our equation, so this becomes slope, because it's slope of our tangent, and then we have our point. So we're just going to write the equation of a line.